Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. So who we are, we are a nonprofit that uses radio controlled vehicles to get kids excited about math and science. So one of the questions that I get asked a lot is how do I get started in radio controlled cars or trucks or you know where do I even start uh, as a parent or as as a you know, as a as a kid or whoever I mean how, how do we get started what's the price point um, what's a good first vehicle to buy and I have two such examples here I, I usually suggest the one tenth monster trucks just because one tenth scale meaning um, you know they're, they're a tenth the size of the real thing uh, but um, these trucks are extremely durable right um, they are a lot of fun to run you can pretty much jump them off of anything uh, you know, bring them to the park, bring them in the backyard or wherever, bring them in the snow and just have a lot of fun doing what uh, what radio control folks call bashing, right? Ba pretty much, you know, not racing competitively, but just having fun with these, uh, you know, much like you would, uh, you know, go skateboarding or whatnot or, um, you know, or extreme sports of w whatever type uh, that you may be interested in, you know, just, just thrashing these things and jumping them off of, uh, of ledges, you know, going downstairs, um, off of ramps, etc., you know, or just having fun in the dirt, grass, uh, what have you. So, the first on the left here, we have the Traxxas Stampede, and uh, this has pretty much been the standard for the last 10 15 years in terms of uh, a 10 scale monster truck. So, part support is excellent. You can even get parts at your Pep Boys, your local Pep Boys store, or whatnot. Uh, you, you know, of course, your local hobby shop also will pretty much stock every part that you can possibly break on one of these things. They'll have those in stock. Um, you know, really the benchmark in terms of um, in terms of monster trucks, this is what the Traxxas Slash is based off of too, so there's a lot of parts interchangeability there. Uh, and, you know, both of these trucks, on the right we have the ECS Ruckus, both of these come as what we call RTRs, or ready to runs. Uh, and that means that you get the radio control itself, the controller, uh, the truck, and uh, pretty much everything that you need to run battery and charger uh, everything is included in one box and you can pretty much grab uh, this box or grab this ready to run and uh, start running it charge the battery and you know maybe supply your own double A's and just go out there and have fun um, so you know check check the pricing for these at your local hobby shop but the the, the entry point is around two hundred dollars plus or minus right so uh, if you have a coupon or there's some sort sort of sale going on, you might be able to get these for cheaper. But these are going to be around two hundred, um, two hundred and fifty dollars, right? And uh, these particular ones that you, you see, I I actually have brushless systems on, um, which are a little more powerful, but also a little more expensive, right? So the for around the two hundred dollar entry point, you're looking at a brush setup, uh, which is a little bit less efficient and powerful, but those aren't bad things when you're first getting started, right? You you don't want to go out there and, and start breaking parts right away. So uh, I, I highly recommend both of these. I actually like the the ECS Ruckus uh, more in terms of drivability and fun because as you can see from the video here, you do have a, a little a longer actually a pretty significant difference in wheelbase here. The the Ruckus is about two two and a half maybe three inches longer in terms of wheelbase. That's that's the distance between the tires here, right? So what that equates to is better handling. So the, the, the ruckus on the right here handles a lot better uh, than the Stampede. The Stampede, um, especially with this brushless system, uh, you know, has a tendency to, to wheelie a lot. Of course, you're not going to get that with a brush system because of uh, you know, because of the less, lesser power of the, of the power plant. But, um, you know, I like these both. I would highly recommend these both. Um, both excellent choices to get started with. But, uh, you know, if I had to choose between the two, I'd probably go with the Ruckus. The cons of the Ruckus are that uh, part support isn't as good as the, the Traxxas Stampede, right? Uh, if you go to your local hobby shop, uh, they may or may not stock parts that, that, uh, that break. Um, but again, it, it doesn't happen very often, right? Uh, but if it does, you, you may be stuck uh, ordering, having the parts special ordered or ordering them yourself online, and that's going to be downtime in terms of uh, time that you're not running these cars um, outside. So again, the one-tenth scale monster trucks, very durable. You can pretty much run them over anything. You can run through mud. Um, both of these are waterproof, right? So you can go through puddles and whatnot. 
Um, you can go through, you know, wet, muddy situations, jump them uh, at the skate park, uh, make your own ramps, run them through the dirt, the grass, just a lot of fun. So uh, my son loves these monster trucks. I mean, that's that's why we've we have two of them, um, at least two of them. So we just have a lot of fun with these. These are uh, these are both really simple to work on too. So these are two wheel drive. So only the the two rear wheels are being driven, right? So a lot simpler in terms of of, of parts, stuff that could break, uh, and that's that's a good thing when you're first getting started, right? Uh, also, there's there's uh, there's no mechanicals, meaning no driven uh, differentials or whatnot in the front of the car. So when you crash into something, um, you're you're not going to break anything um, in terms of drive line, right? You may break uh, some things in terms of, of the steering and, and uh, you know the, the turnbuckles we call them here. Um, in this in this track says I've actually only broken two parts and they were both uh, in the in the uh, you know in the steering part here. So you'll see this blue aluminum piece. That's an upgraded part that had broken uh, when I crashed into uh, I think it was a tree or, or um, something that was stationary and cracked it uh, and also the the servo saver down here so what a servo saver does is that it, it uh, kind of buffers the shock um, going to this uh, this little servo which is a motor that turns the wheels right um, so I had that servo saver break which is a lot better than having the servo break um, so I just put in a more heavy duty heavy duty unit from uh, from Kimbro there um, and uh, I was back on the road so only only those two parts um, I have broken and uh, this actually this truck I, I got in for a lot less than the the two hundred dollars I mentioned before uh, I actually bought this truck used off of Craigslist for believe it or not fifty dollars uh, and that's another question in itself well you know do you want to buy used or new and it's 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 much like buying a, a full-size car new or used right you if you buy used you you don't have a warranty and uh, you don't know what the previous uh, owner did with the car right if they maintained it or not um, if uh, if they took care of it or just abused it um, so there is a little bit of risk there but uh, if you're willing to get your hands dirty the nice thing about these cars is that everything is replaceable right so one thing that I I tell my colleagues um, and friends a lot about uh, these radio controlled hobby grade cars is that uh, if anything breaks you can easily replace uh, a single part whereas if you buy one of those um, cheaper toy grade radio control cars if anything breaks uh, you're pretty much throwing that that um, that car away, that that car or truck away. So um, that's that's the beauty of these. You can you can buy a radio control car for your your kid or yourself, and really play with it. You know, enjoy it for a long time. Right, work on it, um, and uh, you know, since everything is replaceable, uh, as long as you you can find the parts, um, as long as they don't go out out of production, uh, you can you can drive these things indefinitely because. Again, all parts um, can be replaced or and or upgraded. So um, I'll go ahead and wrap up this episode. But again, we, we've got the ECS Ruckus here and the Stampede two-wheel drive, both one-tenth monster, uh, one-tenth scale monster trucks, and highly recommend them both. Great way to a uh, great way to get into radio control, and uh, you know whether whether you're um, a kid or an adult or a kid of any age. So. Uh, that's it for this episode of Racing to Learn. Please feel free to leave a comment or subscribe to us or follow us on Facebook at racing.com, uh, sorry, facebook.com slash racing to learn.